Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna share with you what you do if your lead magnet is not converting the way you hope it would. And I'll show you a few sim simple things you can do to increase your conversions. Okay, so keep watching. So here I have a quick demo uh, page here for you uh, as I'll use in this, this example, right? And um, so let's say for argument's, sake, for argument's sake, you're sending traffic to this page and uh, your conversion rates are very, very low. First thing to check guys, the first thing, the most important thing, the most important thing is check your traffic source. It doesn't really matter what squeeze page you have, you can have the best offer in the world. If your traffic source is junk, then it's not going to convert. If your traffic source is not married and connected to your user intent, then your 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 lead magnet will not convert. So here, this, this demo uh, squeeze page here, you can see I'm targeting basically making money online and basically as, as a business coach. So if I send this page here to people who want to lose weight, they are not going to look at this for more than a second before they close the page and they're never ever going to opt in. So the first thing is guys, make sure you go and check your traffic source to make sure that the user intent behind that is exactly what is shown on this page. That's number one. The next thing you can do is to head inside uh, ChatGPT and you can go ahead and uh, ask it for different variations of the headline. Because here, here you can see, I need to split test my squeeze page, read this page and give me five different headline and subheadline uh, variations so I can test it. And I put in the URL for this uh, page here. And here it comes back with a few va variations that I can then use as different headlines. So that's the first thing. So I'll go in here, Copy, I'll go into my editor here and simply highlight here and paste it in here like so. Uh, you can do this here with any page builder. Uh, if you want to use the same page builder I'm using right now, you can click, click them below, jump inside, you get a, get a free account, okay? Uh, and then here, I'll go and grab this one here like so. Pop it in here. Hey presto, save. And then go to preview. And here I've got uh, my, my new uh, headline. And this here is the first step. And then what I'll do is I will go inside my editor here, go back to the main dashboard. I will go back inside the funnel. Uh, basically, depending on what uh, page builder you're using, uh, they usually have some kind of A-B split testing feature. Um, in this case here, I'll go to my, my, my form here, A-B testing here, and go to choose variant. And then I will simply choose uh, page number two, uh, which is my second page over here. And then... Um, I would simply go ahead and uh, choose the goal page here and click on save. And now you can see here, right, I've got this page here, which is the original right here. And now I can do, like, I can go ahead and create a second page with number two here. So here on page number two, I'll go ahead and click on um, uh, change template. And I'll go and choose a different template here for this here. Again, the template itself right now for this example doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just using this as a pure example. So I'll go click on that edit and then here I've got the second variation okay so I'll then go here and I'll pop in uh, go here and choose a different variation here like so take this here uh, back here okay pop it in there and so on so on I'll put all the information here make this look and be be congruent with what I have my branding and my font and so on uh, but, but but for this example that's fine come back here again and hey presto go back to the t split testing here and then here start test okay and now it's running now you can see here Okay, down here, if I move my head out of the way. Here you can see, here's the first page, here's the second page, hey presto, and it shows me the page views and the conversion rate. Okay, so if I now go ahead and take this funnel here, okay, you can see now, if I go into incognito mode and pop this in here, right, first it goes to this page here, right, if I refresh, it might go to a different version depending on what, but you can see here, on this other one here, when I popped in the URL here, it went to the other page. And now if I go back here again and refresh the page here, right, and go into A-B testing, here you can see one and one. One page view, one page view, zero conversions. And so that's that's what you do there. And what this allows you to do, guys, this allows you to split test your headlines because ultimately, when it comes down to uh, people landing on a page here, the thing that sells them immediately is the headline. If the headline and subheadline is congruent with what your audience want and need and desire, that's what, that's what converts. Uh, whether you have a picture or not, it doesn't really matter. Whether you have different font sizes, color choices, they don't really usually matter, guys. It's always about the headline, the subheadline. Does that emotionally connect with whatever problem they have? And that's how you increase your conversions. So if you're wondering why your lead magnet is not converting, it's either A, 
it's either your traffic source, which is not connected, or B, it's your headline, subheadline, which is not um, uh, connecting with the audience and what they want. Okay, so check your traffic source, check your squeeze, squeeze page, and make sure you set up some kind of split testing like this here, so you can see which one converts best. And then once you've done that, click on end, and then you choose whichever, whichever winner you want, and you keep that one, and you do the same again. You split test again to see which one converts best okay and that's how you go ahead and make sure that your lean mind starts converting better uh, if you're wondering who i am my name is philip barman i am a digital nomad i'm traveling the world and i help uh, beginner marketers get going online uh, with blogging and youtubing so if you want to le learn more about me jump on the link below come inside and i can help you build a real business online as a marketer okay so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you all in the next video okay cheers